time in two years, the Army Corps of Engineers initiates its phase one flood fight as the Mississippi River rises to somewhat normal late spring levels. As Rob Messon reports, the prognosis is good, but there are no guarantees of avoiding a saltwater wedge problem, which plagued the region last year. You may not have noticed, but the Mississippi River is rising, forcing the Army Corps of Engineers to initiate its phase one flood fight. That means no pile driving within 1,500 feet of levees and no heavy vehicles. We're, we're seeing a little bit uh, more in the traditional season of uh, April, May is the, the typical high water season, so we're, we're in that now. We're in fact, the river at the Carrollton Gauge is five feet higher than it was last year when it was surrounded by exposed river bottom. That 2023 low river level allowed salt water to creep upriver from the Gulf of Mexico, forcing Plaquemines Parish to bring in special units to remove salt from drinking water. It also forced Jefferson Parish to spend millions of dollars to run pipes to north of Kenner to bring in fresh water if needed. Now we're starting on the West Bank, obviously, because the salt water intrusion as it makes it way, its way up will affect the West Bank first. In fact, those pipes were not needed after the Army Corps of Engineers built an underwater sill below Myrtle Grove to block the saltwater wedge from moving north. Even though it's too soon to say whether or not we'll have to deal with saltwater intrusion again this year, Corps and weather officials are optimistic that won't be the case. One interesting thing is we're about to move into a La Nina and the Climate Prediction Center, they put out their outlook. The 28 day outlook calls for dry conditions west of the Mississippi River, but heavier than normal rains east of the river along the Ohio Valley, which is the major feeder into the Mississippi Basin. So if we can keep above normal rain just to the east of the Mississippi River, I think we'd be fine going into summer. No one predicts flooding, but the Army Corps is prepared, having recently finished a new $20 million flood wall protecting its headquarters near Audubon Park. So we were the lowest point in the system. The Corps' flood fight phase one has begun, with the Corps set to begin twice a day inspections of nearly 200 miles of river levees below Baton Rouge starting Thursday. Rob Masson, Fox 8 Local First.